TV KPM. La 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 la. I'm so excited. I'm going for holidays. What shall I pack? My handbag. Okay. <sighs> My toiletries. Chris. <sighs> yes, yes, teacher. Why do you look so sad? Thanks for asking. It's because I'm not going anywhere for the holidays. You're not going anywhere? Yeah. Oh, hold on. I have a phone call. Hello? What? We're going for the trip? Okay, okay. I'll go and pack right now. <gasps> holidays, holidays are fun! d TV KPM Hi everybody, welcome to Tahap Satu Dede TV KPM. My name is Chris and are you ready to go on a holiday? Because holidays are fun. Okay, so if you're ready, let's get to know today's teacher. That's right, pupils. For today's Bahasa Inggris Tahun 3 lesson, we have Teacher Anjana. Hi, Teacher. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm doing good. It's so good to see you again, Teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Now, before we proceed, I also like to say hi to Teacher Ilda as our sign language interpreter for today's episode. Hi, Teacher. All right. Now, Teacher Anjana, our classroom will not be complete if we didn't have classmates, is that correct? Exactly. So who are our classmates for today's episode? Let's say hi to them. Where are they? Where are they? Who are we going holiday together with? There they are! Hi everyone! Give me a wave. Okay, so teacher Anjana, could you please introduce our friends for today? Of course. Okay, we have the very handsome Aaron and Joel from SJKC St. James, Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Hi! Hi Aaron, hi Joel! Very handsome. Okay, and okay. now we have uh, the very beautiful Husna Amani and Satvir Singh from SK Puchong Utama 2. Hello. Hi. Hi, Husna. Hi, Satvir. Okay, Hi. looks like we have everyone ready, fresh, ready, ready for today. But I'd like to ask everyone, if you're ready, give me a double thumbs up. Awesome. All right. So, Miss Anjana, what are we going to learn today? Today, we are going to learn about holidays, the activities that we do during holidays and after that, we'll be going into simple present tense. Okay. Okay, so are you all ready to get started? Yes, teacher. Okay, holidays are fun. fun. Chris, yes. I'm just wondering, do you like holidays? I don't like holidays, teacher. What? I love holidays. You love holidays? Yes. So which was your best holiday experience? Mm, I love going to the beach. Um, I went to the beach in Maldives, teacher. It's so beautiful. It must be very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, let's yeah. hear from our pupils out there. Sure. Can we um, have Aaron there? Aaron, do you like holidays and why? I like holidays because I can travel and visit my grandparents' house in Tawao. There are three to four avocado trees there. Avocado trees? In Tawao? Wow. Okay. I help to pluck and collect the avocados with my grandfather and put it into the basket. Sometimes, it was hard to pull the avocados from the branches and I have to use my strength. It was fun though. Plus, I get to feed the chickens and play with the dogs. Thank Ex you, Erin. Excellent, Erin. Okay, let's hear from Husna. Husna. Yes? Do you love holidays? Yes, I do. And which was your best holiday experience? My best holiday experience was at Malacca. And what did you do there in Malacca? I stayed at a hotel. 
I went to the zoo. I also ate at a restaurant where they served rice, lamb, and peach tea. Ooh. It was very delicious. Delicious. It sounds so yummy. Exactly. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, can okay. we have a uh, Satwe Singh? Do you want to share with us? Do you like holiday Satwe? Yes. I like holidays because it's so much fun and I get to spend time with my family. And also, I get to explore places in Malaysia with my family. Excellent. And uh, Joel, do you want to share with us your holiday experience? I like holiday because I can relax and spend more time with my family. Wow, he likes well, to relax. He likes to relax. Okay, long or short, holidays makes us happy. Yes. We get to rest, we get to travel, we get to spend quality time with our family members. So, holidays are important. Uh, so, let's let's go on to the next segment. Okay, and not just that, teacher. Holidays are also fun. That's right. So, before we, we proceed any further, is it okay to take a short break, teacher? Of course. Okay, for our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with Miss Anjana for Basa Inggris Tahun 3, Dede TV, KPF. everyone, you're watching Tahap Satu only on Direct TV KPM with me Chris MJ and today we are learning Bahasa Inggeris Tahun 3 on the topic of Holidays are fun together with Miss Anjana Okay and also my friends on Google Meets, let's say hi to Joel, Aaron, Sadvir and Husna Hi everyone Okay so teacher, what are we going to do in this segment teacher? Okay this segment is called what did you do during holidays? Mm. Remember, the pupils shared about their uh, experiences like Aaron, uh, Aaron plucked avocados and so on. Yep. So, now, the pupils will be doing, will be actually reciting a poem. Okay? Uh, okay. So, we will be finding out what, what is Tom's, Tan's, Serena's and Amira's holiday activities. All right. Are y'all excited to recite this poem? Yes, teacher. Can I get a double thumbs up from the students? Are y'all ready? Even the pupils out there watching this program. Ready. Okay, so okay. who is going to read first, teacher? Okay, so we're going to get who's going to do the first stanza. Oh, Satvir, raise okay. his hand. Satvir, you can start with the first stanza. It was. Holiday, Tommy went to the beach, built sand castles, swam in the sea. It was lots of fun. Excellent, Satvir. So, Tommy went to the beach and what are the activities he did at the beach? Satvir? He built sand castles and swam in the sea. Exactly. Now, let's look at the second stanza. It is about Tan's activities. So, who's going to go next? Who's excited to okay. recite the poem? Husna. Husna. It was holiday. Tan went to the zoo, fed the giraffes, watched the elephants dancing. It was lots of fun. Bravo! Tan actually went to the zoo. And what did he do there? Husna? He fed the giraffes and watched the elephants dancing. I'm sure it would have been fun, right? Chris? Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's go on to the next stanza. Okay, who would like to read that? Who would like to recite the poem? You can raise your hands. Who haven't gone yet? I think we have Aaron. Aaron, go ahead. Aaron. It was holiday. Joanna went to the forest. With flowers, collecting unique leaves, it was lots of fun. Excellent. 
Excellent. Uh, Aaron, where did Serena go? Serena went to the forest. And what did she do at the forest? Picked flowers and collected unique leaves. That must be a lot of fun. Yes, I agree. It okay. has to be a lot of fun. Right. And can we have a, a pupil to recite the last stanza? Yes, last but not least, we have Joel, right? Okay, Joel, go ahead. It was holiday. Amrin Ra went fishing. Caught a big fish. Took picture. It was lots of fun. Excellent, Joel. So, Amira, did Amira go to the zoo? Joel, did Amira go to the zoo? No. Where did she go? What did she do there? She, she is fishing. She went fishing. <laughs> so, she did she catch a big or a small fish, Joel? Big fish. A big fish and she took a lot of pictures. Good job. Good job, Joel. Okay, let's look at the poem again. Okay. Okay, the topic of the poem was... What was the topic of the poem? It was lots of fun. It was lots of fun. So, uh, Tommy went to the beach and he actually built sandcastles and swam in the sea. Tan went to the zoo. What did he do at the zoo? Can we have a volunteer? What did he do at the zoo? Okay. Sadbir, maybe you can help Miss Anjana. What did Tan do at the zoo? He, Tan fed the elephants. No. Tan fed the giraffes at the zoo. And, and watched? And watched the elephants dancing. Excellent. Uh, I think he deserves a reward. A reward? Grace? Okay, good job, Salbir. <clears throat> there you go, Salbir gets one. Where did Serena go? Joel, could you tell me where did Serena go during the holidays? Serena went to the forest. Excellent, so he deserves a reward. Yay, good a job. Smiley. Nice one, Joel. Okay. Okay, since you have read, recite the poem. Now, we're going to do an activity Ooh. to check your understanding of the poem. Okay. State true or false for the statements shown based on the poem recited. True or false? Let's look at the sentence. Okay. Alright. The first one. I think we shall get Chris to do the first one. Alright. So, number one is Tommy built sand castles at the beach. Hmm. True or false? Tommy. I think it is true, teacher. Is that correct? Shall we check the answer? Okay. Yes. yes. Excellent. So, he deserves a smiley yes. for himself. Okay. All right. I'll put a smiley over here. Okay. <laughs> my name is not here, teacher. Okay. So, the few... Can we get a volunteer to do number two? Okay. Number two, who would like to volunteer? Joel. Okay, Joel. go ahead, Joel. Joel, read the set statement and state true or false. Tan fed the elephant at the zoo. So, is that a true or false statement? False. False. Ooh, oh, he's showing yes. us the false yes. statement. Very nice. Okay, let's check the answers. Yes. Excellent. So, he deserves a reward. Good job. Okay, the next one. Can we have a volunteer? Okay, who would like to try the next one? Who's going to give it a try for the next one? Aaron. Okay, go ahead. Aaron. Tan watched the monkeys dancing. So, is that a true or false statement? False. It's a false statement. Let's check. Okay. Yes. yes, it is. Okay, the next one. The next volunteer, please. Anybody? Husna. Okay, Husna. Husna, read the fourth statement. Serena went to the forest. So, is that a true or false statement? True. True. Let's check. Yes. Good. Excellent. Good so, job. she gets a smiley. Okay. And the next one. Can we have, I guess, Satvir? Yes, Satvir. Serena swam in the river. 
So is that a true or false statement? False. False. Let's check the answers. False. Very good. So he gets a smiley. Okay. And we have a bonus statement over there. Oh, who bonus. wants to give it a go? Okay, who wants to try it? First come, first serve. Raise Joel. your hand. Okay, Joel. I saw Joel uh, raising his hand. Okay, go ahead, Joel. Joel, read the statement. Amira caught a big fish. Amira caught a big fish. So is that a true or false? True. It's true. Let's check the answer. Yes. yes! Good job, Joel. You Good have got job. three smileys. Let's give a big round of applause to all our pupils. All of them did very well. Very well. There you go. Uh, before that, before we proceed any further, teacher, is it okay to take a short break? Of course. Okay, for our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. I'll see you right back here at Tahap Satu with Miss Anjana for Bahasa Inggeris Tahun 3. Hi everybody, welcome to Slot Tahap Satu Direct TV KPM. My name is Chris and today we are learning Bahasa Inggeris Tahun 3 on the topic of Holidays are fun. And I'm here with teacher Anjana. Thank you so much teacher for being with us. And we are also helped by uh, teacher Ilda from SK Pendidikan Khas Selango as our sign language interpreter for today's episode. Alright, so I'd like to ask my friends watching at home as well on Google Meets, are you ready for today's lesson? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Yes, oh, double thumbs up. Okay, very, very good. Alright, Miss Anjana, what are we going to learn in this uh, segment? Uh, yes, Chris. Okay, uh, in the previous segment, we okay. did we recited a poem of four stanzas. Okay. We found out what Tommy was doing, what... Um, uh, what Tommy Serena. was doing, Serena was doing. Yep. So, and they actually stated true or false for the statements from the poem. Yes. So now, we're going to do this, which is simple past tense. Okay. okay. Simple past tense describes actions that happened in the past. The time of the action is in the past. Just now, yesterday, last week, last holiday. Remember, simple past tense describes actions or activities that happened in the past which uses the past time frame. Yesterday, last week, uh, yet last night, last Sunday and so on. Mm. Examples. Number one, my mother cooked delicious nasi lemak yesterday. The word past tense used here is cooked. Cooked. It comes from the word cook. Cook, ah. add ed and it becomes cooked. Okay. And let's look at the second sentence. Sarah swam happily in the swimming pool on last holiday. Swim becomes swam because Sarah swam in the pool last holiday. Ah, so the past tense for swim is swam. Swam. Okay. Exactly. Now, let's look at the poem. Remember, we recited this poem, Chris? Yeah. Okay, let's look at the words in red there. Was. Was. Went. Built. Swam. Went. Fed the giraffes. Watched. These are words in the past tense form. Mm. Alright? Now, these verbs can be divided into Regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs are past tense which are formed by adding ed or d at the end of the verb. For example, walk becomes walked by adding ed. Play becomes played by adding ed at the end of the word. Dance, danced by adding d. And we have irregular verbs. Irregular verbs in the past tense are not formed by adding ed or d, Chris. Mm. You just have to add, uh, you need to just change the spelling of the verbs. For I example, see. swim becomes swam. Right. You don't say swimmed. Yes, yes. Okay. Fly becomes 
clue. Sing becomes sang. And Chris, some of some past tense forms do not change at all. For example, the word put, cut, let, heat. You oh. don't say cut it. You yes. still say cut. I cut vegetables for my mother last night. Ah, yes, yes. So remember, pupils watching this, reg uh, past tense. You can actually uh, change it by adding d, ed, or changing the spelling of the words. And some past tense form do not change at all. Mm, all right. Okay, now we're gonna do something here. Something very exciting. Okay. Kay. What are we gonna do, teacher? We're gonna do a game called Whoop Shaker. Whoop Shaker. Okay. So can you show them the Whoop Shaker? This is the Whoop Shaker over okay. here. Okay. So we have eight whoops in the in the Whoop Shaker. Okay. Eight whoops. Yeah, eight whoops over here. All okay. right. Okay. Eight whoops. What you have to do is you need to. Okay, for example, you need to give me the past tense of the word. For example, if if the word is go, you need to give me the past tense form, which is went. Went. And build a sentence using the past tense form. For example, last weekend I went to the museum. Okay, so that is the activity. That is the activity. All so right. you need to give me the past tense form and also a sentence using the past tense. So here, pupils, you must remember that some words you need to add D, E, D and some doesn't change at all. All right. Okay. So I'm excited. Everyone is ready. Let's go for our verb shaker. So yes. who wants to try first, teacher? Ah, uh, who's going to try first? Okay, raise your hands. Who wants to go first? The first round of the verb shaker it goes to Satwir. Okay, Satwir. go ahead. Satwir. So I'm going to shake. Okay, okay so let's and... see what is Satwir getting there. Oh. What word is that? Swim. Okay, Satwir, go ahead. Satwir. Yes. So, so give me the past tense for the word swim. The past tense of swim is swam. Very good. The past tense of swim is swam. And can you give me a sentence? I swam in the sea yesterday. I swam in the sea yesterday. So, Chris. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, good job. An excellent sentence. All right. So, who's our next volunteer? Raise who's your hands. Who's the next volunteer? I think okay, we have Husna. Yeah, Husna. I saw, okay, go ahead, Husna. Husna, shake. Okay, shake. Okay, let's see. What is the word? And that... Husna, your word is play. Play. So, Husna, what is the past tense for play? The past tense for play is play. Played. And uh, she is right. You add ed okay. for the word play to become past tense. And what is the sentence, Husna? Hana and Hazi played chess at the clubhouse on last holiday. Wow. Very is, good. Is that correct? Yes, of course. She deserves a smiley. Yes, Excellent. good job. Excellent. Husna. Okay. And the next, uh, can we have a volunteer? Who's next? Who's going next? Aaron, how about you, Aaron? Oh, Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Okay, so. Okay, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake the burps. Uh, Aaron, your word is. Bake. Bake. Okay, Aaron, what is the past tense for bake? Bake. Baked. 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 Okay. Very good. You add D to the word bake to become past tense. And can you give me a sentence using the past my tense? Mother, my mother baked cake yesterday. My mm. mother baked cake yesterday. Very good. Good job, Aaron. And can we have Joel? Okay. Perhaps Joel? 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 Yeah, go ahead, Joel. Okay, so yes. shake. And your word is Joel. Help! <laughs> so help. Joel, what is the past tense for help? Help, help. Helped. Helped. Very good. Okay. And the sentence for the helped, for the word helped? My parents helped my grandparents. Yesterday. My mm. parents helped my grandparents yesterday. 
Very good. Very helpful parents you have there. <laughs> good job, Joel. Very good. All I think right. all four of them did so well that they managed to actually give me the past tense form for the words shown yep. and also build sentence correctly. Yes, good job everybody. But Miss Anjan, looks like we have come to the end of today's episode. Uh, maybe you'd like to share with us a summary on what we have learned today. Okay, uh, we did a few things today. Mm. I guess um, uh, the pupils want to share. What are the takeaways that you got from the lesson today? Okay. What did you learn today? Who would like to share? Okay, Aaron, go ahead. I learned about simple past tense. Simple, simple past, past tense. tense okay. Very good. And, oh, what we have uh, Sadhvi, Sadhvi. What did you learn today? Oh, Sadhvi, you're a bit soft. Could you speak louder a bit? We, we learned about how. Holidays. We learned about holidays, holidays. the activities that we could do. Yes. Very good. Exactly, exactly. Okay, who else would like to share what they learned today? Joel, go ahead, Joel. We learned illegal past simple past tense. Simple past tense. We learned about simple past past tense, okay, mm. by adding D and E D to the words or simply changing the Spelling of the yes. words. Yes. All right. Good job, everybody. Excellent. Okay. And teacher, also, could you share with us um, where can we find extra materials for today's topic? You can refer to the Lima Portal for extra enrichment tasks. Okay, the Lima Portal. And how did our pupils do for today's lesson, teacher? They did superbly well. Superbly well. Good job, everyone. And with that, we have come to the end of today's episode. I'd like to say thank you so much to teacher Anjana for today's lesson on holidays are fun. And we will see you again only in slot tab 1, Direct TV, KPM. Bye, everyone. Ah, teacher, I heard you have another activity for us, right? Yes. Okay, what, what is our okay, activity? Okay, the other activity is word search. Oh, okay? So, okay. what you have to do is find the hidden words there. We okay. have around 10 words in the, in right. the box there. Okay. So, can you find me uh, at can. least one? At uh, least one. At least one, Chris. Okay, so everyone else uh, watching at home, you can also join me on this activity, okay? So, where is the first word built? Can you, can you find? Look at the rows. Look at the rows. Oh, okay. My friend said at the last row. At the last row. This one, here. We can see can the see? word so build. B U I L T. Excellent. And what else? Uh, you have nine more to find. Okay, hidden, okay. hidden words. Uh, I, I, this one. W A S. Wash. Double thumbs up, Chris. Okay. okay. What else? What else, Chris? Um, what else? Let's see. Look at the uh, first row. First row. Ah. F. E D Fed. Very good. Okay. What else? Uh, last word. Pupils watched. watching, please, please also Ooh. find. The, okay, okay. Yeah, teacher over here. The last row. W A T C H E D. Watched. Very good. Yes. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you again. So, how many marks did I get, teacher? You get all. You get all the points. Did it, TV. KPM